<coughs> <sighs> yep, the more things change, the more they stay the same when it comes to my health. Anyways, welcome back everyone to another FFT Arena matchup. This time we got Shintroy's team on top, um, which is known as Pen and Sword. And on bottom we got Doka Rider's team, which is known as General's Winter's Army. So, for Shintroy we got RDM the Bard. RDW the Scholar. Magic Stick the Samurai. And Magic Sticks the Priest. So, uh, what Shintroy's got going on here is a magic theme team. It's a bit unique. We have a Phoenix Blade Bard with a plus one. And Thief have to compensate for the speed loss, which I'll hit outfit for MA. Defense ring for obvious status protection, which is always good. Also wind absorb. I think this team is overall a wind absorb team. Uh, half of it is anyways. Um, for this bard, he comes with magic song. Which is good, because it can boost damage done with Spellbreaker. And with the Phoenix Blade, um, and this bard, um, plus the 14 MA he had initially, it's going to do a lot of damage off the bat. He also has a very high uh, success rate with Steel Heart. So, um, it makes sense to give this guy magic song there. He has counter magic. Don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, considering he's got 40 faith. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe he's there to combat against enemy spellbreakers. I'm not sure. Um, the scholar here has tornado and mad science. She also comes with spellbreaker, quickening, and steel heart too. Um, this bard carries magic rune though, which is... I think one of these two carries Magic Rune. I believe it's the Bard. Not sure. But yeah, again, we'll plus one with this girl, so she can just simply get in range. Unlike the Bard, she's not wearing a Thief hat. She's optical for more HP rather than for speed. So, seven speed. She's still going to be pretty slow. I mean, not terribly slow, but... Eh. Don't know how seven speed is going to work out personally. But, I guess having a lot of HP is good. Um... Defense Rain for the same purpose, obviously. We have a White Magic Samurai that carries, um, Raise 1, like, Protect and Show to Asuna. Then, um, then Murasame, Bizumbo, Kiyomori, Masamune. Um, she has Abandon, which is nice. Gold Armor, which protects her from, um, from Silence, Dead, and Petrify, which is always nice. Um, I can see the reason for Platina Helm. Uh, I'm iffy about this Samurai personally because she has no way of getting a self MP restore. I mean, once her 46 MP is used up, that's it. She has limited uses of white magic. I would have personally given her um, MP restore in that case. Um, maybe even absorb MP, actually, to be honest. I would have done absorb MP only because... <coughs> Um, with this bard, if you're doing Magic Song, uh, you can give the Samurai 30 MP back. And you can still keep the raised ones and protects going. I mean, yeah, I can see a band Overwhelm being like a bit of an issue. But, I would have done like maybe Defense Up. Because, I don't know, maybe JP limitations would have been a bit of an issue. But, uh, Overwhelm is good because, at least offensively, you can do better damage, it will do more of Murasame and with Beeson Boat, but if you were in a white magic setup, I would have switched them things around personally, especially if you got songs that, that would have been your theoretical, theoretically, song would have been your only other means of restoring MP because you would have had absorb MP, but I suppose it's your call and finally, we got a dual wielding priest with two healing staffs, Nijutsu, Omi carries Kajusogi, carries to raise spells, uh, raises one and two, cures one and two and Asuna. Now this one has move MP up with Robe of Lords. So this guy's got plenty of MP. He can also spam Kajasogi if need be. Um, Abandoned, which is nice. I mean, it is a unique priest. Uh, he, I don't think he really has the PA for it to take advantage of Kajasogi, but I guess it's there to give the priest some melee damage options regardless. So, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to look at, to say the very least. I think... The Samurai could have been built a bit differently. She could have been a little bit more defensive with um, Absorb MP. I mean, I, I understand you want Evasion, but Shiomi has, like like I said before, limited uses MP. And it's not like you carry, like, Carbuncle with Summon Magic or um, Item with a High Ether or anything like that. 
You're basically just banking on um, Samurai only supporting when she absolutely has to and still trying to heal off the party. I guess that's honestly it. Maybe be a bit, maybe be a bit of a distraction. Um, but with the Murasame, uh, unless you have a unit that is zombified, she's gonna be offensively useless. The only thing she can really do is Kiramori, I think, at that point, and just hope that poison would just wither them away. Um, for Dokarada, we got Bullet the Brave, the ninja. Kosche, Kosche, the chemist. White Death, the archer. And Baba Yaga the Wizard. <coughs> um, okay, for the ninja here, he carries Shuriken for range damage options. Uh, also comes with Accumulate, Throw Stone, Heal, Wish. Pretty standard. Concentrate, so he's guaranteed to land his Spell Hedge and Short Edge attacks in. Oil and Faith is the name of the game for this ninja. He also got Dragon Spirit, which is kind of a bit of a weird choice in my opinion. I mean, yeah, he's got to move HP up. And he could probably just go for like an accumulate and maybe another shuriken and run off. Um, but he's got Santa outfit. He can get healed with the ice magic. So I guess um, Dokarai's got that going for him. So it's fine. Just not sure how well that would work. Because considering Dragon Spirit, you have to survive at least a physical hit. Or uh, if, any if anything else, evade one. Um, Spread Shoes there to give the ninja a little extra speed. So he's also, also not immune to slow. He has plenty of HP too. So that's uh, a positive, at least offensively enough. Defensively, we're going to have to wait and see how this setup works. We have an item box chemist here. Uh, equip armor gives him a lot of HP. As well as stats protection. H bags there for the speed. For draw, I believe he only has Masamune. Uh, also has Reflectorine. So that you can sp bounce spells off of him. Which is nice because you can use that chemist as setup man. For the wizard to nail some... Really nice long range uh, spells. I mean, I've tested Reflect teams recently myself, and they w the AI tends to use Reflect very well. Uh, with a Nijitsu Archer here, with Kajasogi. Um, attack up, Silver Bow, going Hairpin, Bracer, 12 PA. That means his Silver Bow is going to do a lot of damage. He can also get the occasional Holy Proc, which won't do as much because this guy's got low Faith and low MA. Uh, well, extra damage does help, though. I'll say that. For Doku. And we have a wizard with snipe. Carries armor break, which is interesting. I guess just a way for her to... Um, bypass ice absorption. Also comes with, I think, arm aim and seal evil. I think. <coughs> um, also carries counter magic. So, that could be interesting to see if, um... If one of these two... Tries to use Spellbreaker on this wizard. Should should she survive? Will she be able to counter magic for just as much? Eh, weapon power times MA. I don't think so. It, it might be for a little bit of anything else. But she's got 17 MA magic attack up. That's nothing to laugh at though. Her ice spell is going to hurt a lot. Especially with the ice rod too. Um, So. I think Doka Rider is more favored to win this one. If I had to make a prediction. Uh, with that said, we could be going to map 27, Golden Coast City. How fitting, too, that, you know, it's cold at this time of, uh, season, and it's gonna be cold out there for the combatants as well. So, here we go. So far, the units are just starting to buff. The bar is going to prepare a magic song as Masamune from the Samurai comes into play too. Now the Scholar can at least catch up to the rest of her comrades. And we're going to get to see some early damage from the Ninja, Faith and Oil. Um, let's see how well that's going to work out. The Priest is going to go for a Cure spell. Magic song has three people. Allow the cure too. That should do quite a bit actually. In terms of healing. See the skull is gonna be looking for a tornado here. Ninja. Gets hit with a spellbreaker. And catches dragon spirit for it. So he's just fine. Well the bar goes down. Wizard guards tornado and the archer absorbs it, so. 
All right, uh, two of the four shurikens was blocked. Shintroy's team still inching forward. The wizard could try to hit that priest, but fails thanks to abandon. And too bad that samurai was not in range too. She could have nailed a very timely, a very timely beason boat. And so far, the priest with, with abandon is kicking in. More tornado from the scholar. Bar gets up. Not sure if he's saying it or not, but faith in oil and the priest. Goes for the cure too. And lands it on the bard. Kiyomori onto the wizard. I don't think it's gonna really matter too much for Doku. Because like I said, the samurai is not very offensive oriented. She's more defensive. Holy proc just enough to drop the scholar. And ouch, 436 damage. That's thanks to the faith <laughs> from that wizard. And he healed to simply get rid of the Kitamori effect. He has a raise one coming from the samurai. But she's about to get nuked. And this is the tornado heal. Coming up. Mutsman and the ninja. There's a tornado heal. Raise one does connect. But I think that... Oh, Scala blocked it. And Samurai blocked the ice too. Magic Swan hitting two people. Here's Kajisogi damage. Not really a lot from that Priest actually, to be honest. Uh, Kajisogi is PA based. So putting Kajisogi on the Mage, I don't think it was really the best idea. Samurai's gonna go for uh, her second raise. The Bard's gonna go for Magic Ruin. Which misses. Oh, but counter magic denied. Yeah, that bar won't be seeing the blues anytime soon. And that's called still blocking. But again, I think Doku Rider is pretty much in sure command. That wizard has been guarding tornadoes left and right here. I think other than that one Kiramori and that one Kaja Shogi, she's not been in a real, real threat at all. Well, she's not in real danger, excuse me. There's one more raise, but the ninja is right there to put that priest right back down. And the samurai just ran out of MP. So, yeah. Again, as I mentioned before, uh, Shin Troy, you've got very limited sandbag power. And, quite frankly, very limited offensive power, too. So, that's going to be the biggest downfall at this point. There's a little faith proc in. Will Ice hit? Yes, it does. For a lot of damage. So, Dokarera takes round one. We're going to round two. And here we go now for round two as we are in map 61. Underground bookstore's fifth floor. A bit of a larger map this time around. This time there's no house in the way. It's going to be straight on ahead for both squads. But yeah, Dokarera's team pretty much overwhelmed Shintroy's team. And while Shintroy had Tornado going for him, uh, he couldn't hit really any of them because of the Wizard uh, Garden and the Archer Absorbing. Just like that. Yeah, Genji Gauntlet is being very useful for Doku so far. Faith in Oyana Devard. And he goes down. He does have re-raise, but I don't know. Can he even survive another sh uh, another turn? So the bar is going to resume singing duty right now. Ah, show two. Okay. So the priest can congest, survive the ice spell, and heal himself in the process. Which is nice in theory, but... Can't do anything physically. This is quickly, um, this is quickly a four-on-two situation right now for a Shintroy that I don't think he's going to be able to come out of the win and end of. And the Samurai guy hit really hard, as did the Archer. Ouch. And that's it. Shintroy has no more revival. 
pretty much slaughtered. Is the best way I can describe um, this uh, the outcome of this match. It's just a freaking slaughter. And I think one more ice spell ought to do it. Yes, it did. So, Doug Ryder takes the very quick victory here. Shintroy, GG.